And uh, yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and start playing it. If you guys have any questions. <laughs> Why are you not scared of clowns as a kid? That's my question. Because it was about Ronald and he found a small scared. piece of paper well, under I'm a big, tri big tree. What's this? It looks like a piece. Oh, I have to set the mood. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a slight change to the stream. There we go. Because we are down to clown. <laughs> how are you not terrified of clowns? Because Ronald is amazing. But look at how terrifying he looks. Let's go on a treasure hunt. But just look at how terrifying he looks. So now we're going to go to the magical forest. Are you sure this game isn't like tripping? It kind of is actually. No, it's Ronald McDonald. He's a, he's going on a he's going on a treasure. Why does he split his legs? Like that? That's how he jumps, and he has a magic scarf. This is how he goes around. This is how he moves. It splits even more when he's in the. You see that? <laughs> That's yeah. so gross. What do you think about like a puff of white cream? What are you, what are you talking about? Oh, that's a pocket. Why is it white? Yeah, the music's really good. Uh, so immediately, uh, Nazo Nazo Two Suzuki was the composer. He did a lot of work at Konami. He was apparently the lead for a lot of the pop and music games, lead director. And when Konami split off, the the people that were working at Konami split off to work at Treasure. He did a bunch of soundtracks. He did, I think he, I think he did basically every soundtrack for every treasure game on the Genesis. And so yeah, he's a very skilled composer. This is his music. I love this theme song as a kid. A couple years ago, John, John remembers we we had an apart, we had a treasure party at John's apartment, and I basically brought every single treasure game I could get my hands on, and working, and uh, we we had Tommy play through this game for a crowd of people a crowd of watchers and it was it was great it was one of the most memorable nights we've ever had i mean at this point it was over 10 years ago but yeah we had a good time and then this is the item shop if you spend golds you can get items so i'm gonna buy a white flower oh wait i guess i'm not going to buy a white flower i need to hit start on it right a button Okay, is it the C button? There we go. They, they cover your face entirely. I know, that was a joke. Well, you shouldn't do that. Get that life item. We, balloons are really good, but they're expensive. Continue item. Get that golds, baby. Yeah, it was over It was over 10, over 10 years old. <laughs> we were, we were, it was over 10 years ago. Not that we were ten year not that we were ten years old. <laughs> but yeah, we had a good time. It was a great time. I think I need to go up and around. <clears throat> anyway, this game is not overly complicated. The the default difficulty is beginner. Is Hamburglar here? Uh you do actually meet some some characters, iconic characters as you traverse. Yeah man, we're getting old, baby. That's why we stream games, so we can feel better about ourselves. <laughs> I feel it, man. And I, actually, I think we're going to be in town. That, that same weekend is the, the weekend before... The, that weekend is the like before your birthday, right? I, if, I'm, if I looked at the calendar correctly. So we, we, added, we not only do we have to do link-up stuff, we have to uh, celebrate your birthday as well, I think. The same weekend as link-up, I think that Monday is John's birthday. End of June. End of June, middle of June, July. So yeah, we, we gotta we gotta do something for John's birthday. Yep, the following. Okay, I I, I knew I had that right. I figured. So yeah, we gotta we gotta do something. <laughs> Maybe not a treasure party, but we gotta have some kind of treasure party. I was really hoping this was gonna be a Ronald McDonald game. Well, you came to the right place. <laughs> Yeah, this is, a, this is the first video game that was released by the company Treasure, which I've mentioned before on stream that 
Treasure is my favorite defunct video game developer. I don't know. My dad would literally come home with games, and he would be like, "Here, here, son. Here's a game." He just buys games for you. Well, again, like he would not ask me what I wanted. He would just bring home whatever he found at the store. My guess is he probably saw this in like the sale aisle, brought it home, and and thought it would be you know because I was a kid. You know, uh, kids love kids games. And he, yeah, exactly. Like it, because of my dad, I I found this game. He brought home. I don't even think he made uh, the 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 connection that Treasure was the developer. He just bought the game. Like I found Rocket Knight Adventures through him. Uh, Gunstar Heroes showed up on my doorstep one day. It was just it was amazing. It was it was incredible. Let me call your dad right now. My dad does not remember purchasing this. Call don't call him. You know they call him. Why? I'm making dinner, so I'm gonna be in and out. Okay, yeah, yeah, please. Thank you for coming by. Appreciate you, Lindsay. You know I do. You don't want me to talk call your dad? No, no, don't. I'm streaming. I'm streaming right now. I don't want to... I don't want to put my dad on the stream. What's wrong with you? <laughs> He's probably busy right now, anyway. He's probably in Waynesboro. You know why. As long as is on one. <laughs> well, yeah, Dot met my dad. My dad, my Dot, Dot knows. Hey, your dad thought Dot was Puerto Rican. Yeah, for some reason he thought he was Puerto Rican, which is hilarious. You've never seen Ronald McDonald? Okay, I was gonna say why? Well, I, I just got finished explaining that uh, Treasure Games left a, an indelible mark on my game appreciation growing up, and this game is actually pretty good because it was made by Treasure. Treasure can take a license like McDonald's and actually make it interesting. <laughs> so yeah, that's why, Betty. That's why, man. I'm telling you. <laughs> no, no, I'm black. Well, mixed. <laughs> yeah, I don't... I, you know, honestly, I can see why my dad thought maybe you were Puerto Rican just because the the your style... And the short hair, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's he's a, he's a little presumptive that way, I guess. <laughs> I apologize. I apologize if that offended you. <laughs> All right. So part part of the mechanics of this game is you get uh you get balloons. If you fall off the stage, oh wait, I think we're about to see an amazing. Oh yeah, the frog. I forgot about the frog. Yeah, they have little frogs. Let's go! You get you get gold to buy items, and you also get balloons to save you in case you do bad, because they know that kids are bad at games. And so if you fall off the stage, a balloon will save you, and it can bring you back up. That's why they're so expensive. Fox is high. Oh! I should mention that the, uh, the animated GIF that's behind my chat right now and over my face... <laughs> Uh, I, I ripped those graphics from the sprite sheets and I animated them myself. Just, just a little fun fact there. Why you because you're about to see what happens. You, you'll see exactly. We're about to get to that point in the game, actually. I think it's we're we're nearing it. Big Bertha looking dude. Ah! Uh, see, I just used a balloon. What a waste of a balloon. Is this a mini game? Are we gonna do it? All right, sweet. This song is is a banger. I do want to play. Ronald McDonald is is our friend. He looks terrible, he just looks scary. Look at like he's our friend. So this this game had a little mini game where you can like earn extra. Yeah, the game. <laughs> it's the game, baby. You can earn extra lives and other items. We're not going to spend too much time on this because I could spend a lot of time playing this. But if you get three of an icon, then uh, you're able to get whatever that item is. So you, you kind of have to earn it, but it's worth doing. You can also capture them in triangles. Uh, let's see. Beep, 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 beep. All right. <laughs> yeah, Wirt <Wirt> remembers. <laughs> oh, 
I'm doing terrible. Oh no, oh no, oh no. This is bad. Yeah, I I am not doing well. Okay, we can we can do it. At least we can get that one. All right? And then we'll get that one. Ooh, we got a combo. Um shoot. Where am I going? Okay, I guess if I do that, and I do that, right? And the thing is, uh, because they, they introduced those trash pieces and there's no way to get rid of those trash pieces, so you actually will, you will be forced to lose at some point because of that. Ooh, ooh! Uh, no, 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 balloon! All right, can I, can I fit a balloon down there? I think I can. No, no, I messed up. I messed up. No, I got it. Sweet. Ah. <laughs> Thank you, Wirt, for coming by. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what... Uh, I wanted to showcase a few treasure games because I basically loaded them all. All the Genesis ones are on here, including a... You went McDouble? <laughs> I guess it's working, man. Oh! 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 Because <laughs> someone needs to clip that. That was five combos in a row, baby! Let's go! <laughs> that was ridiculous. Oh no. Okay, well, let me... Let's see what I can get before ending it. I, I want to keep playing the game at this point. Let's get that. All right, we're good. Now we're just gonna, we're just gonna go ahead and end it, because if not, I'm gonna be here all all stream, and I don't want to do that. We got we got a game to finish. Somebody clip that for you. I hope someone clipped that. <laughs> I I think I succeeded at at what I at what I was trying to do. <laughs> hey, Ange, how's it going? <laughs> this is my childhood. Welcome to my childhood. I hope you enjoy the stay. This game is amazing. It's really good. Um, I'm only playing on beginner because that is that is actually the default difficulty. That is the de default difficulty. I have you on the car and I just got so scared. <laughs> my, my bad. I'm sorry. <laughs> I got really excited. I got a freaking five combo. I am so sorry. I was I was I was enjoying my combo. All right, this is it. This is it, y'all. Look, Ceylon, Look, this is where this is where it came from. Let's go! Are telling me this is good? Yes, this game is impressive. It, it, it is a it is a game made by Treasure. As far as I'm concerned, Treasure can do... Well, I say Treasure can do no wrong, but there have been a couple Treasure games that are not that great. But this is this is definitely not one of those. This is one of the good ones. Thank you for the clip. Appreciate you, Dot. Appreciate you immensely. This game is great. Great music, the gameplay is tight. Yes, it does star a weird clown, but it's still good. It's very imaginative. Treasure is, okay, listen, I've, I've mentioned Treasure before on stream. They, I, I know I have. There's probably footage of me. <laughs> yay, yay! Thank you, John. Thank you, John, for the yay, yay. Well, hopefully you'll learn a lot today. I'm, I'm going to try to play through a couple of treasure games. They definitely had a style and a, and a very distinct music quality. Yeah, you know what? That's that's probably fair. I probably said it in, in, without context. It's like, yeah, it, it, treasure could just mean anything, right? But yeah, definitely. Treasure was a company. They were comprised of ex-Konami employees. What's the Game Boy game called again? The Game Boy game. Uh, oh, the Gun Boy game. Uh, there's there was an Astro Boy game, and then there's there's Gunstar Heroes. Gunstar Heroes came out. So people can't agree on, upon. Technically, this was the first game released by Treasure on the Sega Genesis, but I think Gunstar Heroes was the first game they made. But due to released schedules and everything else, they released this one first. So this one technically came out before Gunstar Heroes. Although I think Gunstar Heroes, Gunstar Heroes is what my what my Twitch theme is based on. 
But I owned both games as a child. And uh, we'll probably play a little bit of Gunstar. I've actually played through all of Gunstar before on a previous stream. But I'll just, for context, I'll, I'll play through it. Just so I can show you. I really, I was more excited about playing this game, if I'm going to be honest, because <laughs> this, this is what's up. And the, the thing is, this game is pretty simple. It's not, it's not overly complicated. It's a pretty standard platformer, but they do a lot of special graphical effects. Like most uh, treasure games, they really care about presentation. They care about music. I messed up. I really go this way. Ooh, secret items. If you've, if you've ever played Dynamite Heady, there's a lot of the same feel of the music from Dynamite Heady on this game. Dynamite Heady, also another treasure game. It's a game made by the company Treasure. And more importantly, it is Ronald McDonald. You're correct. Ronald is the, the key character. Is this just a regular stage? Can I buy stuff yet? I can't buy it. I want to buy balloons. Balloons are what you need to buy. I'm going to save my money. I can buy one up. I already have 11 one ups, so I really don't need them. Balloons are what are, are gold. They're worth more than gold in this stage. But yeah, I mean, check out these graphics, man. Like, check out these enemy designs. Check out the, the, the sprite work. So, what is your goal? So, uh, Ronald McDonald found a piece of a treasure map. And he's like, let's but go. It's, a treasure it's treasure. literally a tre literally a, treasure, a treasure, treasure map. When I said define it, you said, oh, be, it's a company name. The treasure. company is named Treasure, and the game is called Ronald McDonald Treasure Land Adventure. So it's actually. A so they put their name. They put the name of their company in the name of this game, which makes sense because it's the first game they've made, right? Or first game they've released. I'm gonna grab that. Well, who made it? The company's name is Treasure. They made it for the Sega. Well, yeah, they made it. They, they were was was the first game that they that they worked on, but due to scheduling and licensing and everything else, this one came out before that one. They came out within months of each other, if I remember correctly. You guys can fact check me on that, but I'm pretty sure that there was a few months before between releases. Golds. Surprise! The currency isn't like fries or something. I agree. You figure they'd have like some type of food currency. Yeah, the thing is, like, you get, like, so... so... Yeah, like, it's, like, fried... Actually, you know what's funny? I was reading an article on the cutting room floor, and apparently the items were supposed to be, like... Like... Nuggets. Like, nuggets, fries, Coke, and stuff like that, but I think they changed it before the release. Oh, here he goes! Hamburglar! Am I ever glad to see you? What's that, you say? Oh, you want two of my magic jewels? What's that? You say you'll give me a hint for a jewels? Really? <laughs> Will you give him the jewels? I already know what the hint is, but because I want you guys to experience this with me, I will give him the jewels. Hmm. You say the enemy boss will try to steal my magic jewels? Oh, I can attack them while they're eating the jewels? Really? <laughs> you gotta kick him in the magic jewels. Thanks, Hamburger. I'll give it my best shot. Thanks, bro. I guess this is supposed to be like a McDonald's. But that's why there's a television. Thanks again for the tip. <laughs> Reminded of the... Was it? You don't say? You don't say! He didn't say. <laughs> Something to behold. Yeah. I, it, this is a temporary thing. I mean, I'm, I'm here. It, it's not... I'm not a cat. Uh, it's actually it's actually me. But I figured to be to, to, to be funny I would be I would be I would be Ronald the Ronald McDonald. <laughs> this is my Ronald McDonald cosplay. <laughs> yeah, I, I know, but it's all sprites, right? Hey, how's it going? This is the dumbest thing I've ever done on stream. And it's just it's a freaking PNG of a clown. <laughs> Well, I appreciate his little, like, you know how, like, they do the magic trick with, like, the, the hidden handkerchiefs? I mean, like, they, they went through the trouble of, like, giving him a mechanic around a what's typically a clown thing, right? It, like, it's, it's amazing. Look at that. Look at, like, look at, look at, look at how, how imaginative this is. I don't know why it says don't touch, but it does. 
it was the Ronald Ronald on a phone call with a handler girl, and Ronald kept saying, "You don't say." Yeah, yeah, I remember that. I do remember that commercial. That was a that was a classic. Whoa, that was a classic commercial. Give me the golds. What's what's on sale? <laughs> okay, it's just a sale thing. What? Imaginative character design. Treasure is full of it. Lots of bizarre and weird things that are only tangentially related. But they're there. <laughs> I'm gonna have to Google that commercial later. But yeah, so the main uh, the main mechanic of these bosses is you're supposed to like let them eat your life. Eat a piece of your life, and then when they eat your life. That's when you can hit them. A lot of the bosses work the same way. And they give you a lot of life, so it's like... You can wreck a boss pretty quick. <laughs> We're playing a beginner mode. Again, I this is the, the, the default beginner. The default difficulty is beginner. Uh, grimace with like, like Grimace, like with an A, like Mace. It's like, ugh. Ouch, ow, owie, you win, Ronald. Please take my piece of the map. Basically, Ronald McDonald goes around bullying a bunch of people to find treasure maps. <laughs> hey, it fits the piece I have perfectly. Hmm, I wonder who has the rest of this map. After stealing it from the tomato man. So Ronald got the second part of the map and continued. He was introduced as a villain in McDonald's universe. He was called The Grimace. <laughs> yeah, I agree. <laughs> it's kind of strange. Yeah, I, re I remember when The Grimace was the bad guy. And now he no longer is. He became, he became Ronald's buddy. Oh no, I've, I need to go back. Uh, oh well. Actually, I think I can still grab it. Well, I can grab some, but hey, I still got it. So the Grimace, the Grimace spooked you out? I never thought, well, you know, I, I guess he was meant to be a bad guy, so maybe it makes sense that he would be spooky, but he, I always pictured him as like a, because they gave him like a goofy voice, like kind of like Barney a little bit. And I, I felt like that, like they were just, were trying to make him intentionally goofy, you know, you know what I mean? No one knows what the Grimace is, unfortunately. <laughs> this song is awesome. It's got like a country twang to it. Give me the golds. Kind of reminds me of like country western music. Let me get that. All right, sweet. I think this is a shop. He is a large purple anthropomorphic being of indeterminate species with short arms and legs. Yeah, he's like a he's like a weird he's a weird furry. He, I always thought I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I don't think I don't think this was intended, but I always thought he was meant to be like an evil universe chicken nugget. Like he was meant to be like some kind of weird chicken nugget. I, mean, I could be wrong, but that's what I always thought. Like a sentient sentient piece of meat. <laughs> like, Someone did the research. <laughs> so, oh no! I fell. Okay, I'm gonna. My balloon's about to pop. I thought he was a weird chicken. Yeah, you, you thought so too, right? Yeah, okay. That's what I thought too. Oh no, you're just repeating what I said. <laughs> I swear, that's what I thought he was. Chicken nugget with legs. He was introduced by. Ramadan's. See? See? I knew it. I knew it. I knew there was some reason why I had that weird association. Okay, yeah. Then I'm, and then I'm not crazy then. Maybe maybe he was the, the primer. That, that Perhaps he was meant to be the, the species group. He was meant to be the introduction to to people. So now, you see, you see this conductor art sprite? As a kid, I used to think that this little this little conduct, conductor art thing was meant to be like Gonzo. It kind of looked like a like a weird Muppet. 
Oh, you meant like long before? Okay, I understand. I thought maybe he was like introduced as a as a character saying like, you know, here are the chicken nuggets. Because I remember Fry Guys. Fry Guys were a thing. Let's see, Grimace was the first appearance. He was one of the original main antagonists. He was depicted with two pairs of arms, which were used as steel. So he had, so he had four arms. Evil was soon dropped from Gimmis's name, and then he was introduced in 1972 as a protagonist where he only has one set of arms. He was then a rather clumsy but still amiable monster from then on. Okay, all right, cool. So he had four arms? The Grimace had four arms? I don't remember. Well, I wasn't alive back then. But apparently he was Goro. The Grimace was Goro at one point. Look at that. They got they got they got lions. They got lions, tigers, and bears. Don't hit me. Ah! Species is grimace. Fair enough. Uh do we want to try a bit more? And chicken McNuggets weren't sold until the late eighties and early nineties. Right. Alright, we're gonna do it again. We're gonna do it again for the new people, because apparently some of y'all have not seen this game yet. I'll do this for a little bit. Same same as before. Second verse, same as the first. Oh, uh, shoot. All right, this is what we'll do. We'll do it this way. And then, I don't actually know what those sparks are for. Oh, I think that powers up my, my attack. I remember properly. We gotta set this up for the long game, man. My muscle memory is coming. I found another one. <laughs> What's the benefit of playing this game? You get free balloons and continues, and continues are good. I mean, I want it more for the balloons. Give me the balloons. If I get balloons, then I can get... You can get continues, you can get extra lives. Can that, will that work? That does work. Okay, sweet. Uh, that means I can do this too. But I want to get the balloons. And I messed up. I screwed up my balloon. Oh, I right, screwed yeah. up. Oh, oh there it goes. There we go. That one. See, I want. Rotate that one. I was trying to. There we go. See, I have a diagonal balloon there and I can't get it. Man. All right, well. But yeah, this this game is busted because you can basically. If you, as long as you get three of the icons, you can get a lot of extra stuff. Okay, right, this is what we're gonna do. We'll do that way. Then we'll land it that way. There we go, we got a balloon. I'm happy with that. I'm not doing as hot as my, my first time. Thankfully I have I have footage of that five combo earlier. And let's go, let's go. All right, we got to continue too, so that, that was worth it. Uh, no, wait, no, 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 no. Hmm. Okay. I was trying to get like a, another gem in there, but I'm not gonna be able to fit. Oh, maybe I can do that one, yeah. That'll work. Oops. No, I can't flip it. All right, well, we're done. No. All right, let's keep it moving. We got three balloons, so we're good. Oh yeah, this is cool. I remember seeing this as a kid, and it blew my mind, man. It's like, what, what is, what is going on? Oh, it's, it's not, it's not me. Surprise. Freaking jump up, jump up like Sonic. I am on a train. I'm on a circus train. Oh, let me get the items. Let me go. Let me go. <laughs> You're so funny. You did damage. Oh, no, not again. Oh, you can like, can you escape? Can you actually escape? Ah, whatever. I don't care. I don't care. Any I don't care enough. Let me alone. <laughs> Illy Billy. Gotta go, we gotta get all these items, man. 
Well, these are not circus animals. They're like, they're like weird dudes. They're weird men. Oh my goodness, it's Sam. I hope you're ready for some uh, rockin' McDonald's action. Hey, look! Help me, Ronald! I've been kidnapped by a wicked circus owner. I could break the lock on this pen if only I had some magic jewels. Would you give me some of your magic jewels? Of course. Wow, thanks, Ronald. Now I can go back home. I owe you one. Does anybody remember the bird's name? Cause I sure don't. What was the bird's name? Y'all know. <laughs> Somebody in the chat knows what the bird's name was. Okay, Google. <laughs> Tell me what the bird's name is, like Donald. It's, is it Birdie? It's Birdie. Y'all know, people in the chat were on top of it. Birdie? It's Birdie. So the, the clue here is every time you hear that horn, you have to duck. It took me forever to realize that as a child. So even though you can't really see because of all the lack of light, they gave you enough information to clue you in. Google recommended an ad to me. <laughs> is Grimace an eggplant? <laughs> Are you serious? That's amazing. Yeah, what is Grimace? No one knows what Grimace is. He's a he's a he's a Grimace. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. I completely forgot about this. You know what we translate them in, in Taiwan? What was a Grimace's name? Grimace's Grimace is a milkshake? What was the milkshake? He's the milkshake big yeah, bro? Yeah, the birdie is the fry. Well, no, they they had fry guys. Am I dead? I'm dead. Shoot. Birdies are is the fry. Because she's yellow? Yeah, and her feather is like typical shape. So I guess in Taiwan, you're hearing it here first, folks. In Taiwan, Grimace was the milkshake. He represented the milkshake, and Birdie was the fries. I have another character? I thought it was just four of them. There was the Hamburglar, there was Birdie, there was Grimace. There was Mayor McCheese. There was uh, Ronald McDonald. There was a weird uh, old looking dude that you guys are going to see at the credits of this game if I get to him. Officer Big Mac. Yeah, that's it. Hey, look at this mouse. Look at this mouse. Top hat mouse. Are you, are you going to step up to me? Are you just going to fight, bruh? Are you just going just gonna to walk up to me like, like you know me or something? Bruh. Grimace. I love Grimace. Look at this bullet train. A literal bullet train, y'all. Oh my god, Sam, thank you. <laughs> the eggplant. Mayor McCheese was not in Taiwan. Mayor was not in Taiwan? No. Interesting to know. Looks like what a hot dog the, with a mouth. What was the Big Mac thing? Uh, it was the Hamburglar. You don't have to repeat after. I just want to know the Big Mac. Well, in, in America, they didn't associate them with characters, I don't think. That was next time. Be careful, Ronald. All right, I guess the mouse has got wrecked. Is this a boss? What was the thing? Oh, yeah. So this is, when, this is when things start to get weird. They have sumos that, like, shake the foundations of the earth. They stomp. And they go, whoa. I don't, I don't think you can actually kill them. <laughs> this kind of reminds me of like, like early Michael Jackson era music. All cops are Big Mac. Thank you. How how appropriate. <laughs> Can't stay for too long, but hope. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for coming by. I appreciate you. Hold on, let me. Those are like little dudes, and that's the picture that's at the end. Don't don't show them though, because we, we it's, a, it's supposed to be a it's supposed to be a surprise. All right, da, da, da. I don't think she looks like the fries. Look at her feathers. Yeah, I, those are called fry guys. Those are the fry guys. 
Orange All cops are Big Mac. Those are the fry. That's what they're called. The little meatballs. Yeah, they're they're called fry guys. But you don't see her feathers. Isn't her feathers? Well, she's she's, she's just a bird. I don't think there's fry guys in this game. I don't remember there being fry guys. But they do fe they do feature them later on. Why is there a pirate character? That I don't remember who that guy is. I'm sure somebody's already looked him up on the. On the wiki. Yes, that's Officer Big Mac. All, all, all cops are Big Mac. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. You, you missed out on some of the characters. You didn't see all of them. It's moving day for some of these fools. They're just throwing boxes out the windows because they don't care about the environment. Captain Crook. Is that is that the guy's name? There's so there's so much extended lore on the McDonald's, like, wiki that I've, I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea who anybody Wait, is. Who is, who is the this is an OSHA violation. You can't have people living inside apartments before the building is finished. Oh, did, did, did you have all the glass? Whoa! Did you have all the glassware sets? I forgot about that completely entirely. Did you buy all the all the limited edition glasses? Construction guys are getting wrecked because of sumos. The sumos are ruining the, the building. Oh no, no, I gotta start all over? Oh Jesus. Completely. I got wrecked, man. I completely forgot about that. So you managed to go to people's homes and take all of their McDonald's memorabilia? It's amazing. JT, everybody. JT is a collector of fine things. JT has an entire candle collection that he made custom labels for that are based around Beatmania 2DX games. If anybody has every single limited edition McDonald's glass, it's gonna be him. I want the gem. Thank you. What was that? <laughs> Hold on, I just missed something. Is the ice cream machine <laughs> is the ice cream machine still broken? Yes, it, unfortunately it is. <laughs> Your fave is cosmic. Ah, okay. I'm so sorry, y'all. This this is unintentional marketing. I know. I realize. I realize what's going on here. <laughs> I realize that playback sometimes plays games like this too. Th uh, thank you for coming by, playback. Appreciate you, man. Yeah, this is uh, I, I had to I had to celebrate, I had to celebrate the occasion. So I figured if I was Ronald McDonald, people would appreciate it. Come on, you got the speed run strats. <laughs> it only takes four hits on beginner. Wow, that's crazy. It's me, kids. It's Ronald McDonald. <laughs> he was a baby goblin. Please stop crying. That's Ronald talking to the kid. Come on. I've got something that will cheer you up. Eat my jewels. <laughs> wow, for me? Really? Gee, thanks, Ronald. Of course, yeah, somebody made me play this. It wasn't a bad platformer. Yeah, yeah, this is a game made by Treasure, which I'm sure you're familiar with Treasure. They're my favorite dev, my favorite retro game dev. So yeah, this is why this I think this is what leads lends credence. <laughs> yeah, it's a piece of the map. How can I get to this island? I know. I, the fact that Ronald is giving them gems to eat, quote unquote eat, makes me think that he was actually handing them hamburgers. And from what I understand, in like a beta version of this game, there was artwork for like hamburgers and uh, this is my favorite song in the game, by the way. I should mention that. I'm gonna die. Beep, beep, beep. That yeah, that he was actually handing them hamburgers, and I guess that they thought that was maybe a little bit too much product placement, and so they decided to change everything to gems, as opposed to uh, keeping the, the the burgers to keep you know, because then that's like a little bit too blatant, I guess. I don't know. Ronald came to our elementary school to teach us about. 
the now retconned food pyramid? Yeah, I remember the food pyramid. I was there. This song rules. Because they want me to die. For some reason, I remember. Whoa! Ronald teaching me dare? Ronald came to your school and told you not to do drugs? Ronald's food pyramid probably broken at that time. <laughs> and a dare Ronald collab shirt? That's wild. That is crazy. I didn't even know that dare. I mean, it makes sense, I guess. I never even considered that. Hey, look, it's the little penguins. You guys remember the little penguins? It's the pingos. It's Dot. It's you. It's your family, Dot. It's, it's your penguin family. <laughs> I think these are meant to be the Konami penguins. There's so many of them. Hey, how you guys doing? Yeah, look at you. You guys are so friendly. Pirate penguins. Nugs, not drugs. <laughs> they just keep they just keep waving at us. Let's go. Oh, am I not supposed to go in here? I'm not supposed to go in here. Where am I supposed to go? Down? Where are y'all going? Is there like a is there, is there a down? I don't remember where to go. Oh, am I supposed to go right? I'm supposed to go right. Okay. That was that was a secret. Look at them lips! Now this guy scared me. This goofy laugh. Them big lips. It's got it's got them it's got them big lips. <laughs> You can kiss Ronald McDonald if you want. <laughs> you can kiss Ronald McDonald. <laughs> I, I won't complain. I'm gonna try to poke his face. You, poke, you can't poke his nose. Is this another mini game? Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll just keep going. It's fine. We're not gonna, not gonna spend too much time. Get that high speed DSL. Alrighty, dinner is ready. To, I'm gonna lurk for a while. Alright, cool. As long as you stay around, kiss with <laughs> McDonald. <laughs> On the whips. <laughs> Grimace loves one of McDonald. <laughs> it's times like these that I wish I had a, a hand cam. Ah. Doom, doom. Doom, doom. I dug up an old trading cards I'm going through and actually properly taking care of them. Well, as long as you've had them in storage, away from the elements. No, I, I, I think he's not <laughs> Ronald McDonald cards. I think he's referencing like he he mentioned before in one of the discords that he had like a bunch of cards that he was he was going through that he was planning on maybe selling because you know trading cards are all the rage now. Yeah, I, I went through my Pokemon cards probably about uh, I don't know three or four months ago, and I realized that somebody stole my Blastoise. I had a I had a water deck. It was full of water types, and the main, it was, this is like Gen 1, right? And keep in mind, this is, I don't play the card game anymore. But back in the day, like, I had a pretty serious water deck that I had built myself. And yeah, I went through all my cards, and the one card I'm missing is my Blastoise. And I don't know why. I don't know what happened to it. I'm pretty sure somebody stole it. I didn't trade it. Wait, is this it? Can we keep going? Yeah, that's right, you gotta get to the top. You have Ronald Pogs? Oh my god. That's impressive. Actually, apparently some Marvel sets went up in price. I believe it. Ronald, watch out! Getting wrecked, son! <laughs> oh! Oh yeah, th this song was pretty good too. This is the first like puzzle solving stage. 
this, this song is pretty good too. Most of the music in this game is pretty good, guys. Like, like, unironically so. I don't. Yeah, I, I had a pair. I had a set of pogs too, like most kids. But I don't remember what happened to them. I think I lost track of them. Weird gremlin-looking dude. I don't really remember. Yeah, I'm gonna play a couple other treasure games. I, I will finish this game for sure on this stream, but I'm gonna play a couple other treasure games and you guys will probably notice the similarities in the musical composition style, because it was all done by the same guy. Nazo Suzuki is, is the composer. Look up his name, look him up on uh, VG D, the VG D database, video game database of musical composers. That man was prolific. And he was on, like I, like I mentioned earlier, he was on uh, a lot of pop and music. Like he was the director of a lot of pop and music OSTs. The man is still busy. I used to have a pog maker. Oh yeah, the pog makers. Oh my God, you just unlocked something in my memory. My friend had a pog maker and he put like, he would download like Dragon Ball Z JPEGs on the internet and like make pogs. That's amazing. I completely forgot about those. Yeah, it was like a, it was kind of like a press or something. Like you like you'd take a press and like put a custom image and it would make a pog. I play like you, you just rem man. <laughs> I can't I can't believe someone else had a pog maker. Oh wow, that's insane. If you're not a nice kid in this chat, you probably have no idea what we're talking about and I apologize. <laughs> that pog champ emote came from pogs just saying it was a pog pog related thing you get the sticky glue the pog out and then press the cutter on the image exactly yeah 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 the pog maker <laughs> oh man that's insane that's insane that's insane all right so i don't i legitimately don't remember how to get to the exit but i think as a kid i just opened multiple doors and ah, yeah well there you go no way pogs were still popular by the time dbz was around here oh no man back then people were people were making their own custom thing db actually i should i should clear that up dbz was here but dbgt was like that that forbidden stuff dragon ball z or dragon ball gt People on the internet knew what that was because it wasn't on television. Ferrari for real. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, now, now you make pog makers for, for pins, exactly. But yeah, for real, D DBGT. That was like that was like, like that that hidden that hidden knowledge. That if you knew about Dragon Ball GT, that was amazing. And some kids busted out the the pogs with DBGT stuff on them. At least back in where I where I used to live, I had a CD stamper and a burn CD of Lincoln Park Hybrid, with an emo pic of Future Trunks as the label. Word that is oddly specific. Oh look, it's Grimace. The G Ronald. I'm so tired I can barely move. There goes your favorite character. Here he comes. Do you think you could give me a couple of jewels? No. The come on, Ronald. Just a couple? No. <laughs> The, come on, Ronald. Just a couple? No. <laughs> yes. The G, Ronald. Thanks. I feel much better. The captain went through this door. He's got a piece of the map. Good luck. He's worse than the Hamburglar. This man... Real, yeah, I, 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 I have watched several movies. I'm trying to grab the McDonald's icon. I watched several movies, several D Dragon Ball GT movies in real player format, and I'm not afraid to say it. Oh yeah, be careful, no, don't trip, please. All right, let's go fight Captain Crook with the big lips. Is this a shop? I'm just gonna buy a couple of balloons because I can afford it. Give me them balloons, baby. All right. Probably got them off Kazaa or Share Bear 
or Napster or LimeWire or uh <laughs> This is a good song, man. It is a good song, I agree. The G Ronald. Morpheus was another one. Uh, uh, Audio Galaxy. That was another good one. Uh, I, don't think, I don't think I ever used Nutella. Ooh, get the golds! Get the golds! Get the golds! DSL. DSL was the future. I had a 56k modem. WinMX? Well, now you're starting to go in like Japanese ter territory. Like, you got, you got your your Winnies. Remember Winnie? That was another good one. And, uh, and Share, I think it's literally what it was called. Give me the golds! Give me the golds! Don't... Th those things right there always freaked me out as a kid. It was like, it was like, like, do this grabby thing. It's like, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab you. Yeah. Yeah, I want to I wanna grab you. Man, the lore goes deep. You got mimics in here, man. It makes sense. This is like a ghost ship. There's literal ghosts with candles on their head. I'm sure that's some sort of like Japanese obake that uh, maybe Justin or, or Jean can, or maybe even work. Like you guys know, if you guys know your yokai, what, what is the ghost that has a candle on his head? I'm sure you guys know, know all about that. I'm sure there's there's some reference to a, a Japanese monster that we don't know. Ah! It's a reference to something. There's too, there's too many stupid ghosts in Japanese lore. <laughs> I be, I believe it. Can I can I get there? Do I have to like go further? Oh, I can't reach it. Come on, come on, you can reach that. Come on, Ronald McDonald. Don't fail me now. Oh, I guess I can't reach it. Ah, oh, come on. Let me focus on this for, for a bit. Uh, okay, good. Those are birds? <laughs> There are so many of they like it's practically innumerable. ATL timeline is freaking me out. We had Pogs in ninety one and then ninety seven to DBZ and Tsunami. I think Yokai was Litwick. Litwick? Is that a is that a is that a reference to the actual game Yokai? I see a lot of Japanese ghosts with like a headband and a little paper triangle up front. Okay. Well, what about a ghost with what about a cartoon ghost with a candle with Joker Joker face? This 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 he's straight up Joker facing right now. Hey, Ronald McDonald's attacking with pure force of magic. I just want you guys to realize this. Wait a minute, did I just loop around? Oh no, it's gonna be one of those days. We have to figure out where the real exit is on this map. This is a literal maze. Alright, well clearly that's not the door. I thought it was. I found the treasure chest room, but it wasn't the, the exit that we wanted. Maybe it's this one. And then, the, yeah, this is not it either. Maize is corn. Uh, yes. I'm saying maize, baby. Maize is how you say corn in Spanish. I guess we're going here. Did we go down here? Oh, word. This is just where items are. Ah! Oh, that's the exit. Okay, it was down here the whole time. Give me them gems. Oh, come on. Here we go. This is it, right? Bro, you, you want to scrap? I guess not. The treasure 
the treasure was the friends we made along the way. <laughs> yeah! Ah, uh, we found the goal. Sweet. I can buy another balloon. Let's go. Yeah, I have 13 lives, so... I think I'm good on lives. Yeah! -ha -ha. Ooh, Kirby's! They're so cute! Eat my gems! Bruh. Eat my gems, please. Ooh. He's got weird eyeballs on his lip face. Are you gonna eat my gems? Go that way. Eat him. Get wrecked. One more hit, one more hit, one more hit! I messed up. <laughs> Come and look and fight. <laughs> that is very true. It's Krebby. It's my favorite character, Krebby. Eat my gem, eat my gem. Now I'm gonna wreck you. One more hit, one more hit, one more hit. Look at your goofy looking face. You don't even have a face. You're just eyes and a mouth. Weirdo. No, no. Please. I give up. Thing is mouth fit. Here. Take this. It's part of a treasure map I found. You'll never guess where it goes, y'all. Aha. This must be the last piece of the map. It, it looks like uh, Ickus, right? Now let's see if it fits. Was it Ickus? No. What was the name of the guy that had the eyeballs? The, the two eyes with the two eyes with the hands and you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> A perfect fit. But where's the treasure? Krung. Yes. Thank you. The treasure was on the moon all along. This isn't Earth. It's a moon. How are we ever gonna get there? Hey, I've got an idea. Let's go ask the professor. Good idea, he's sure to help us. Look at Grimace over there walking, wobbling. Ronald and his friends went to the professor's house. What? Treasure? On the moon? Of course I can help you. I'll make you a rocket ship. You'll be there in no- This man single-handedly put NASA out of business. <laughs> I can make a rocket ship? I always love that Crumb's dad lost one of his eyes, so he wore a black glove on the hand instead. Yeah, that was pretty good. <laughs> Look, it's the Fry Guys. They actually have representation for the Fry Guys. They're there. Five, four, three, two, one. Because <laughs> those are Ronald's friends. We helped them out. Ronald helped all his friends along the way to get to this point. So now we're going to go to the moon, baby. To find the treasure. The G Ronald, the crash landing. Now, how are we going to get home? Don't tell me we'll be stuck on this moon forever. Come on, everybody, cheer up. There's air on the moon. <laughs> There's got to be something we can do. Why don't we all split up and look for someone to help us fix the ship? Much easier than that last game you played where you had to go to the moon. That is true. That is that is very true. Look at how beautiful the moon looks, y'all. Don't you want to live on the moon? Space Beats. Feel free to sample this for any musical compositions you want to make in the future. Oh. Funky B, baby. Nazo Suzuki nailed like the moon music aesthetic for sure. Like space music. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, I guess we're flying.
is low gravity. I still got it. Can I jump on that? Boing. Oh wow, that almost hit me. Treasure music is always great, man. I'm telling you. I love it. I love it. I love it. I'm 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 very happy that you're enjoying it, Dot. Oh, don't bite me. I'm biting at my toes. As far as I know, there's no special ending for beating this game on the higher difficulties, so really there's no reason to play it on higher difficulty. Just play it. Play it to your heart's content. Oh yeah, talking about the Sega, the, the planet in the background. <laughs> the Sega Saturn logo. So I have some good news. I finally got a third mode. I know, I'm insane. Uh, for those who have been following along, I, I bought a mode for my Saturn and I bought a mode for my Dreamcast. However, since I was a beta tester, uh, I moved my mode for my Sat or for my Dreamcast over to my to my PlayStation. So I have a PlayStation mode, but then that left my that left my Dreamcast uh, without a mode. So I finally decided to go ahead and bite the bullet, and I purchased another mode today. So I will finally have modes in all three of my systems, and I can get back to streaming Dreamcast stuff regularly. I already have a, uh, a game in the queue for Dreamcast that someone requested, Vector, I think, who might still may or may not be in the chat. And I could play some other stuff on Dreamcast. So we'll, you know, once we get back into like a somewhat regular schedule of streaming, I will, uh, I will do so. I'm gonna die here. I'm going to die because I can't time this. There we go. Jeez, that was close. Hey, 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 it's time to make some crazy money. Oh, yeah, that's right. They, they sped this up a little bit. We're being chased by a huge alien monster. So, yes, I've got my third mode coming, and I'll be able to put the, the, the Dreamcast back into... Oh, back into the rotation. play some Dreamcast stuff again. I have not played a Dreamcast game in a very long time because of it. Plenty of Saturn stuff and a handful of PlayStation games, but no Saturn. Or no uh, Dreamcast! You're just destroying the stage. Don't do this to me. Oh no, oh no, oh no. I think those guys are supposed to be like a early Dynamite Heady reference. I haven't played a console game in a very long time because of my state of my basement. He's not helping them fix the ship, no. I want to see everything when it's done. I'm assuming that you're planning on having it all finished once we start the link up. Uh, okay. Give me a gem. Let's not get hit by those weird weeds. Uh. Okay, cool. I figured as much. It's gonna be awesome. Can't wait. Let's go, let's go. I won't have the custom furniture ready for the consoles, but I can at least get them hooked up. Yeah, of course. Don't grab me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't grab, he's, he's fondling my pant legs. This is the music from the 3D model thing. Yeah, yeah, it's the same like weird, creepy music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That high music. Oh, can we buy some gems? Uh, 2,000 golds, 300, 500. Uh, if I just, okay, look at this. If I buy this, it's 2,000. If I just buy two of these, it's 1,000. Why would I spend more for 2,000 golds? That seems like a lot of money. The <laughs> fist bump gate? Yeah, I noticed that too on the way up. Uh, I wish I knew. Magic power-up. I can't carry any more of that. No more magic power-ups. I think if I buy flowers, I can hold on to them until I need them. When you have two of the red flowers or three of the white flowers, they ought. 
two of the red flowers or three of the white flowers, they automatically turn into a red gem. And your red gem, your jewels are your food. They're also your life. You spent $250,000 on a bag of jewels. At first I was gonna be like, yeah, for real? I like how their cameras are literal eyeballs next to monitors. Whoever designed this alien ship, they knew that what they were doing. That's for sure. What the heck is that? Oh, it's just a, it's a, oh no, they're gonna grab me. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Don't touch me. These are so creepy, I don't like them. <laughs> He's like, just grab, grab. Uh, what do I do, what do I do, what do I do? Go down? Ooh, because we're going down. We made it to the goal. I don't need any more power-ups, really. All this breakdown. Oh yeah, the fat cats. This is some, this is some like high effort, <laughs> like high effort music with like crazy time signatures. Can I get down there? I can't get down. Can I like jump through the stairs? No, I oh, I can. All right, nice. Ah, uh, what's with the big lips? There's a lot of lips everywhere. It's like a, it's a, it's a repeating motif. Treasure really does have some weird like. I mean, like, again, I love him to death. But there's just, just so many lips everywhere. I don't. I can't. I can't. <laughs> I can't with this. I don't understand. What's with what's with the Ricks? Hi, Michael here. It's Vsauce. I just I just wish I knew what what this was, what they were going for. Come on. Ah. It's not stairs. They like. <laughs> Thanks, Justin. I, I I saw that the first time you did that, and I appreciated it then. And I just want you to know that I, I appreciate it now. Ah, come on. Like this is like you slide on the on the ramp. It's not even like stairs. It's like a slide. It's a literal slide. Whee! Physics and maths. Come back. All right, this is where you're supposed to like hold on to it and then like work. What is it with the UF? Okay, so I think who was it? It may have been a Nick Robinson video where they talked about, he did a study on like the Japanese concept of UFOs and how, okay, we're just gonna cheat this one. This is why I bought my balloons. We don't have to do this. We can just use the balloons and get to the end. But yeah, UFOs, those little bat UFO enemies, they have like those three little orbs underneath and that's like a very common depiction of UFOs in Japanese culture. And it was just, it's just interesting because it's true. like. Every Japanese video game I've played has has that. You know, a saucer looking thing with three little orbs underneath it and then that's how it's that's how it's depicted in popular culture in Japan. You know, we've got like the cigar looking design, but in Japan they got the orbs. And I I, I remember seeing a, a Nick Robinson video I think where they talked about it. And the octopus aliens. Yeah, octopus aliens are well, although these are like bats, little bats and bells. You guys see that, right? There's a little bat enemy that turns into like a little UFO. Starts off as a UFO and then turns into a bat. It's kind of weird, right? It's a thing. I saw this as a kid and I never, I never even questioned it. I was just like, yeah, that's what a UFO looks like for sure.
This is borrowing the same sound font from like the Sega, the Sonic games. That Yamaha bass, that, that thick Yamaha bass line. Y'all know what I'm talking about. I have enough money to buy a balloon, so we're gonna do it. I can't jump through this little pole. Give me the jewels. Give me the jewels. I think maybe turning these enemies into hamburgers probably would have been a little bit too on the nose. So maybe that's why they turned into magic treasures. Yeah, th this one specifically sounds like Sonic music for sure. Because it's that, it's that Yamaha bass line. I forget what the, the number is of the Yamaha class synthesizer they use on the Genesis. I think it's like the Y16 maybe? Yamaha 16? I don't know. You guys could probably fact check me on that one, but it's got that same bass, Genesis bass sound font. Imagine getting. Who are you? Who are you? Wait a minute, you're that Ronald clown, aren't you? Dang, bro. The YM2612. Thank you. That sounds that sounds like it. That sounds close enough to be what I'm talking about. If you want to see your friends again, you'll give me those jewels. You'll give them to me. Will you give them the jewels? No. Scram! Beat it! Get out of here! Don't come back! You stole my fry guys? That's the synth chip. Yeah, I believe that's the same chip that makes the ba these funky bass lines. I'll give him the jewels. Mmm, crunch, crunch. So these are the famous magic jewels. Mmm, yummy. They sparkle in my tummy. Ah, I don't know why, but I suddenly feel so sleepy. <laughs> Okay, Fry Kids, get away! Hurry! Rufy, <laughs> he gave him the he gave him those magic jewels. Couldn't couldn't stop. Hey, look, it's the Fry Kids. He, even the Fry Kids make an appearance in this game. How cool is that? They really have equal representation of all McDonald's characters. Thanks, Fry Kids. Weird berry tree mini boss. So if you guys have played uh, Dynamite Heady, those little faces will look very familiar to you. Those little faces are the face of Bo from uh, Dynamite Heady. And Bo is like their little helper character. Well, they have the same face, the fa same style face. And they reuse that character design again in Dynamite Heady. Dynamite Heady has helpers, and those are his helpers. All right, I think we're almost done, y'all. Yep, this is it. This is the last boss. Eat my gems, baby. Get wrecked. This boss is really simple. You only have to hit him three times. And like every other boss, you have to let them eat a jewel, get distracted, and then, uh, you know, do your thing. And then you gotta be smart about which door you go through. You're probably gonna go there, aren't you? Yep, okay, never mind. I just gotta avoid you then. Gonna head out, Cyber. Suddenly very high. Man, this this is having the, the the wrong intended effect. I didn't expect people to to go actually get McDonald's. <laughs> you're you're about the third person that said that they're hungry for food now. <laughs> Thank you, Justin. I appreciate you, man. Thank you for hanging out. Well, you're about to you're about to miss the ending. I mean, this is literally the ending. So if you want to stick around for like five minutes, you can see the ending credits.
I mean, you stayed this long, so you might as well see it, right? Stop, stop. You won. Yeah, this is literally the ending sequence, so. Go ahead. Take the treasure. You beat me, so now it's yours. Ah, poor little fella. We don't want your treasure. All we want... Yeah, you actually do want the treasure. That's why you went to the freaking moon. Our ship is broken. Without it, we're stuck here. Ah, leave it to me. Check out what's in my freaking box. I got colors in here. I appreciate those emotes. I don't have those emotes, Top Phase. I gotta know where they came from. That Ronald art is amazing, and you take that back. You take that, you take it back. I'm amazing at Ronald. <laughs> Please visit me again. Okay, we'll just ride your magic rainbow. Look at the grimace. Goofy, goofy looking Hamburglar. And so ends another fun adventure for Ronald and his friends. It took him a whole day to get to the moon. Somehow I don't think it takes that long to get to the moon. And that was it. That was Treasure Land Adventure. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, we're going to switch up the game here in a bit. But I do want to run the credits all the way. Ronald Jenkins is the man. It takes longer than a day to get to the moon. Yeah, exactly. Well, I guess with the power of magic and friends. And a rocket ship made by the Professor. You know, the Professor is a character. He exists in marketing materials. But I don't remember the I don't remember ever seeing the Professor as a kid. Like I don't I don't remember that. Do you guys remember seeing the Professor like at on, at McDonald's like commercials? Because I, I certainly don't. Maigawa. Who is the man? Who is the sound designer? Look up this man. Nazo Squared Suzuki. Nazo Squared is a, is a, is a pseudonym. He has a different name, but yeah. Look him up. You'll find up a lot of information about him. He's a, he's a cool dude. The guy was instrumental in the, mu the sound design and the music for all of these early Genesis Treasure games. He was all over it, baby. And he made music for Poppin' Music, like I said. Sound produce. I don't remember this this part of the game. Do you guys remember parts where you run across trees? Because I certainly don't. I wonder if the difficulty changes where you see the tree enemies are. Because I don't ever recall fighting an enemy on top of a tree like that. Or even seeing one, if I'm going to be honest. Oh yeah, remember this goofy part? Yeah, once you get level 3 power up on your magic attack, it's like, you wreck folks. It's a bit too easy to destroy them. Let's see, how long have we been going for? It only took about an hour and a half. I guess not too bad. Less than an hour and a half. I imagine a speedrun of this game could probably get done really quickly. They stole that right out of Sonic 2. You guys see that, that little shifting block stair? That's a Sonic 2 thing. It takes Burger... It takes Burger King versus... Did Burger King... Oh, I was, you know what? Actually, I already know the answer to that question. I was going to say, it's a, uh, does Burger King have any video games? But they made a bunch of Xbox 360 games and Xbox games back in the day. Sneak King and the other one. 
the, the burger rally racer or whatever. They didn't make Genesis and Nintendo games, but produced by Treasure. There it is. And then check out this really cool image. This image exists as an actual photo. The only one that was worth playing more than five minutes was Sneak King. I agree. <laughs> that was worth playing 10 minutes. Yeah, you guys see this? So that's the professor. We got Birdie. We got the Fry Kids. Fry Guys. We got the Grimace. Hamburglar. And who's that captain? I, I don't know who the captain is. GGCU. See you. Dancing. All right, Justin, now you can go get your burgers. You can get your... Yeah, and I, I do remember the anthropomorphic burgers that talked from the treasure chest. I do recall that. That's Captain Crook. Oh. Yeah, Captain Crook. Is that why he has a C on his forehead? Or is that for C for Captain? And the talking fry bag. Sweet. All right. That was...